Hey guys, I wanted to give a quick review on an awesome tool called Quillbot. Quillbot is an awesome AI tool to help enhance your writing. You can use it for some examples would be blog posts, video scripts, class papers, I don't know, the list is endless. Uh, basically you have these following categories, the paraphraser, grammar checker, plagiarism checker, which you can actually, if you copy text elsewhere, you want to make sure it's not being shown as uh, being plagiarized, you can run it through that. You have a co-writer, summarizer, citation generator, and translator. What the most popular piece of this software is the paraphraser, and that's what I use the most. Um, this can be used for free. I think you have a limitation of the amount of words you use. Uh, I think it's 125 words per day. So if you have small projects and such, you could probably get by with the free version. Um, but if you're going to do more than that, you might want to upgrade to the premium version, which is what I have. Um, so basically, let's, let's check this out. So basically, let's give an example here of how to we want to write a blog post about how to crate train a puppy. So I found this uh, site here, grabbed the text I wanted, let's copy that, and let's run it through the tool here. Click on paraphrase. And there you go, you basically have a new version of this existing text that I've copied from a blog. Um, you can change the mode, fluency, formal, simple, creative, expand, shorten. I found the standard works just fine for me. Simple is also good. And then you can also change your uh, amount of synonyms that are used. So that can be useful as well, but I usually just stick to the defaults. They work just fine. So now we have this new version of the uh, blog post information that we have. and we can actually take this now and use it in our blog post or video or whatever else. So I wanted to show you another really cool and useful uh, way of using Quillbot and that's in conjunction with ChatGPT. The reason why you want to do that is all of your ChatGPT content that you're having created will be, gener will be flagged as generated by AI. Google is penalizing this as well as many other sites and you definitely don't want that to happen. So what you can do is use Quillbot to get around that. So in this example, I'm on ChatGPT. I said, please write me a blog post about how to create, train a puppy. And yes, you do have to ask it, please. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, anyway, so it came up with this long information. Let's just grab the first part of this as if we're using the free version of Quillbot. Let's copy this. Let's go over to an AI content detector, which I found just by searching this on Google. Paste it in. Check. Basically, AI content detected as we figured. Let's say 96 probability for AI. So now let's go back over to Quillbot. Paste the same text in. Paraphrase it. Copy this, back to the content detector, we'll clear the old one, paste it in, check. This is human text, voila. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I'll leave a link to Quillbot in the description and pinned comment. Like I said, you can use the free version to play around with it and check it out. It's a valuable tool and one you should definitely have in your toolkit. And by the way, you can also use it in conjunction with Pictory to create your video scripts, which you can then turn into faceless videos super easily. I did a uh, quick video on Pictory as well, so feel free to check that out, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.